Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, scope rails. Uh, not too many of these videos that we see talk too much about scope rails. They talk about caliber, they talk about the gun, they talk about the scope, but they don't talk about one of the basic foundations of, of a rifle, which is the scope base itself. Now where this comes into play is, is if you're going to be shooting long distance in relationship to your scope. Your scope is limited to the number of adjustments on elevation both up and down. In the brochure of the individual scope it will tell you uh, generally how many MOA adjustments you have. Which can be basically 40 to 50 to 80. Uh, so let's use 40 as an example. What that basically means is that you have 20 adjustments up and 20 adjustments down. So if you want to shoot beyond like 500 yards and your uh, your caliber ballistics uh, will drop you know 60 inches uh, you know at 500 yards and you're using your turrets to to match your bullet placement uh, by keeping your scope alignment dead on the target you run out of adjustments and therefore you have to kind of use your scope and arbitrarily aim high. Well most people say, well, the scope's not good enough, I'll just go buy a new scope. Well, you don't need to do that. You can go buy a, a, a base that has a 20 MOA, 30 MOA, 40 MOA, heck, uh, I guess they even go higher than that, to help uh, give your scope a little bit more uh, adjustments. But let's talk basically why you would do that. Uh, first of all, make sure you know what you're hunting. If your shots aren't going to be over 400 yards and you pretty much know what the bullet drop is, you know your external ballistics, uh, you know what your, uh, what your downrange energy is going to be, and uh, you, can, uh, you can pretty much hold on target throughout the entire shot. You, all you need is just a flat, that means a zero MOA base. Uh, if you're going to go out beyond that and the bullet starts to drop precipitously beyond that point, then you're going to need to have a, a 20 MOA or 30 MOA uh, adjustment. So let me explain that to you probably a little bit better to get more clear. A zero MOA is when the scope and the bore of the, of the uh, rifle are exactly the same. Uh, and that's fine. Uh, that'll give you your adjustments for whatever you need up and down. But if you run out of adjustments, by having a 20 MOA, what it does is arbitrarily point the scope down, which arbitrarily makes your point of impact go up. So you're able to adjust your turret clear down to, uh, to the basic stop so that you have 40 MOA adjustments up. Does that make sense? Well, let me try to be a little bit clearer than that. Uh, you don't need to replace the scope. Sometimes you only need to, uh, to change the base in order to give you more elevation adjustments. Uh, when the scope is pointing down, the barrel is pointing up. That gives you an arbitrarily higher uh, uh, hold on with your, uh, with your scope. So I hope that explained it. Now I'm going to take you out to the range because I just put this on and I'm going to show you some shots on target. Uh, uh, hopefully I've made the uh, adjustments here uh, based upon the 20 MOA because that's pretty simple. 20 MOA, minute of angle, 20. That's a lot of clicks. So based upon my previous bases, which were 0 MOA, I know how to make the adjustments uh, uh, properly. And I'll go shoot at the target t to verify that at least <laughs> I know what I'm talking about so that I can make this video. Uh, so... Let's get to the shooting targets and we'll talk to you later. Okay folks, I'll be shooting at the target on the right. I hope you can see the bullet impact. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Nope, that's the max zoom I have for my camera. Alright, so here's three shots. Ears in. Fire in the hole.
Okay, based upon that group, uh, which basically sucks, uh, we'll give her three more shots. Okay, folks, there's the next three shots. Let's hope they're better. Okay, that's better. Let's go take a look at that target. Okay, folks, here's the target. Uh, you might have seen it on camera. This first triangle represented my first three shots. One, two, and three. And then the last three shots were one, two, and three. Uh, that's right at a half an inch. Uh, that's a little bit smaller than a dime, so you could see a dime could probably cover that. So in my particular case, putting the 20 MOA rail on there and making the adjustments before I came to the range were almost perfectly exact. So I hope this helped you folks. Uh, if you like this content, you know what to do. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends. I'll be glad to talk to you in the comment section. But thanks for watching. Goodbye.